Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss sequences and series. Remember to subscribe to this channel and to also share the link with friends. The first, the fifth, and the seventh terms of an arithmetic progression, that is IP, form the first three terms of a decreasing geometric progression, that is GP, respectively. Given that the first term of each progression is 64, but a right to equations involving common ratio of geometric progression and find the common difference of arithmetic progression. So what you're going to analyze here is uh, how to get any other term for an AP. So we know that uh, for AP, that is arithmetic progression, terms which have a common difference nth term is usually given by a plus n minus 1 this multiplied by d this means the first term the first term for the ap is simply 64 it has already been provided we can say a let me use a which is a 64 then we have the fifth term. The fifth term, according to this number, is going to be a plus n, which is 5, minus 1. That makes it a 4, according to this formula, then multiplied by d. So 4 multiplied by d, which means that the fifth term is 64 plus 4d. Then we are also talking about uh, the seventh term. The seventh term is going to be a plus 7 minus 1 multiplied by d, so 6d. This is going to be 64 plus 6d. Now we are to form or to write down equations involving common ratio. Remember from one term to the next, for a GP, there is a common ratio, a factor which multiplies a term to give us the next. So that means when we take the second number, that is a 64 plus 4D, and we divide by the first number, which is 64, we are supposed to get the common ratio. That is one equation. Again, when we take the third, okay, that is a, the seventh, which is now third, because this one, this one this one though they are first fifth and seven for the gp they are consecutive they are following one another therefore when we take this seventh term which is now third for the gp that is a 64 plus 6d and we divide by the second term which is a 64 plus 4d we also get r this one is the second equation so mathematically if the second term out of the first gives us a common ratio and also the third out of the second term is also giving us the same common ratio then we can conclude that 64 plus 4d divided by 64 is equivalent to 64 plus 6d divided by 64 plus 4d that one has to be understood now we can cross multiply and we continue working we can say that uh, 64 plus 4d multiplied by 64 plus 4d which makes it squared is the same as 64 into 64 plus 6d then now we expand when i take 64 squared I'm getting a 4096. So this is 4096. Then I should have plus 64 by 4 d by 2. 64 by 4 by 2. And this gives me now 512 d. Then plus 16 d squared. This is equivalent to 
64 by 64 giving us 40 96 plus 64 by 60 giving us 384 384 sorry d 384d so now we can arrange terms such that uh, 4096 cancels with 4096 then we can also talk about uh, 16 d squared being equivalent to when i take 384 and i subtract 512 I'm going to get negative 128, negative 128 D. That means we can uh, divide by D to get 16 D equals to negative 120, 128. So that to remain with 128, sorry. So that to remain with D, now we need to divide through by 16. And this gives us negative 8. So D is a negative 8. When D is a negative 8, okay, we are through with that part, by the way. Find the common difference, which is D. Negative 8 is the common difference. This now means we can get uh, the sum of the first 24 terms in the AP. Remember, sum of a given number of terms for an AP is usually given by N out of 2 into 2A plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. Therefore, the first 24 terms over 2 into 2 multiplied by a, which is 64, plus uh, n minus 1 multiplied by negative 8. So this means 12 into 128 plus this is a 23 by negative 8, giving us negative 184. So now we can talk about uh, 128 plus negative uh, 184. Then we multiply by 12. This is giving us negative 600 negative 672. Another time, you can talk of a sum of n terms. This is the alternative being equal to n over 2 into first term plus the last term, which means the first thing to do here is to calculate the 24th term. So the 24th term will first of all be given by, according to the formula here, a plus n minus 1 into d. So a is 64 plus 24 minus 1 multiplied by negative 8. So we're going to get a 23 by negative 8. Then we add 64. This gives us negative 120. So now it means the sum of the first. 24 terms is going to be given by n 24 over 2 into the first term 64 plus the last term which is negative 120 yes so we're going to have a 12 into negative 120 plus 64 giving us negative 56 so when 56 and 12 are multiplied they are giving us negative 672 so this is an alternative working to this so we can have the first approach or the second approach the two formulae will take you to the final answer finally we are told to find the number of terms for which the sum of the geometric progression is 127 and 7 over 8. Remember the first thing we should get is R, uh, the common ratio, small r, 
whereby we take the first term. Okay, we have 64 plus 4 into D, which is negative 8. We divide by 64. Therefore, we're going to have 64 minus 32, giving us 32 out of 64, making this half. Therefore, R is half. R is half. We know that the sum of n terms is usually given by A into 1 minus R power N divided by 1 minus R. This is where the absolute value of R is less than 1, like in our case. The absolute value of R is less than 1. Therefore, we will talk of 200. Okay, let me check the term very well. We are talking of 127 and 7 over 8. 127 and 7 over 8 being equal to the first term into 1 minus a half raised to a non n divided by 1 minus r, which is a half. And for now, with this, we can uh, continue simplifying. In this case, we can talk about uh, this becomes a half. And remember, this is a uh, 64. This is 64. Therefore, 64 divided by a half means when we take 64 divided by a half, we will get 128. So we are having 127 and 7 over 8 being equal to 128 into 1 minus a half raised to n. So we can take now 127 and 7 over 8. Then we divide it by 128. And this is going to give us 1024. 1023 out of 1024 being equal to 1 minus 1 out of 2 raised to n. Remember, we want the value of n. So in this case, allow me bring negative half to the right hand side so that it takes a positive sign equals to then 1, 1 minus uh, the value on the other side. Therefore, I'm going to get 1 out of 10, 24. We can raise this to base half. This is half power n, equivalent to half power. When we take a half power 10, we're going to get here yeah, power 10. Therefore, half power n is equivalent to 1 over 10, 24, which means we can express this to base half. Half raised to power 10 is the same as 1 over 10, 24. Therefore, we can conclude that the value of n is exactly equal to 10 times. Thank you for following. Subscribe and share.